I'm coming to the conclusion that the Matrix does indeed exist in the real world. Meaning, there is a vast majority of people that are kind of plugged into this uh, philosophy of living that we came up with a long, long time ago out of fear, essentially. And that there are a few people that try to consistently go out of their way to break out of that matrix in order to analyze it and hopefully make it better for the people that are living inside of it. <clears throat> so, what is, how do you know that you're in this matrix? Well, it's a philosophy thing, right? If you do not think too much in a given day, if you are not actively making decisions over the course of a day on things that you are trying to actually do with your time in terms of the way that you want to be treated, the things that we want out of our life in general, if we aren't actively pursuing those things, chances are we're probably in a system that was put in place because it was the easiest thing for most people to do. And these systems, I think in our current day and age, we don't really think too much about them because they've been around for so long. And so many people have used them as, as data for why things should be the same. And we're kind of hemmed into believing that, that is the only way that life is supposed to be. Systems like having kids, sending them to school, while we work, coming home from work, and spending that very hard earned money and time acquiring more things that are require us to get larger houses for more storage for more things. And now, some of you watching this are very aware of what I'm talking about. But I assume that the vast majority of you watching this are thinking to yourself, well, what else is there to life to rub? If, if you have all of the answers, you know, what is it that... What is it that getting out of this matrix actually does for me? Hmm. I think it improves self-worth. But I think in a, in a large or in a more macroscopic sense, it actually improves the entire world. Because we start realizing that if we are capable of breaking out of this thing, that other people are capable of breaking out of this thing. And that the people that have broken out of this thing are actually incredibly successful and in living very free lives. Lives that they can be incredibly proud of. Lives that inspire other people. And take us to almost a spiritual way of living. The Matrix has always been here as a way of separating ourselves from something that we don't quite understand. This place, this world that we live in, there's a lot to know about it. But the sad part is none of us, no individual can really ever hope to imagine, to grasp the gravity of this place, the gravity of our existence. So it makes it, because we don't understand, it's easy to fear something like that. It's easy to fear things that we don't see coming. It's easy to fear the version of ourselves that can live outside the matrix. The version of ourselves that's a little bit more alive a little bit more present. Because that version requires routine, it requires a lot of work. It requires actually making other people uncomfortable when they try to force the philosophy of the system down your throat. Standing your ground, making space for the philosophies that you're trying to craft. It's a difficult road, incredibly difficult. The payoff, however, is having eternity in moments. For many of you, uh, I don't know if you spent some time meditating, spent some time in life where everything seems to slow down, things are a little bit more peaceful. 
a little bit more present conscious. We can have these moments a lot in life. We can almost have them all day, despite living fairly productively. The key, however, is to standardize our life in a way that our, our actions, our routine, actually make it so that our soul is consistently satisfied. And that we are trying to be present in our own lives. So hopefully that gives you some indication of the systems that I'm talking about. And some of you might be thinking to yourself, well, these systems have worked for a long time. It has made it so that people, average people, can live decent lives, get fed, have families. Sure, I agree. I agree. It has given the majority of humanity a reliable thing to build their philosophies on essentially, right? Their, their worldviews, the way we associate with people. Sure. But if you're anything like me, there's something inside of you that tells you that you should be doing more, that you are capable of more. The things that you've been thinking about and working on in your life are actually something that could benefit humanity. And should, to some capacity, give you the freedom required to go and lead the life that you want. So I encourage you, whenever you are surrounded by people or systems that remind you of the thing that I'm talking about, this matrix, the first and foremost, go through trying to understand them, trying to understand what peace the people inside of them take out of it. And why? What motivations people have to stay in it? I would think the laziest, the most, uh, <laughs> the biggest motivation is to not have to think. Thinking is one of the more difficult things to do in life because a lot of the time we don't actually get to a conclusion that we can see that uh, actually has factual evidence behind it. Thinking tends to be fairly subjective. And by virtue of that, I think a lot of people get afraid of it because it's essentially a creative pursuit. We're trying to sharpen our, uh, our vision of certain situations by iterating, by going through, talking about ideas, seeing if they're logical, coming across people that we believe have a level of reality that we want and seeing if our opinions are congruent or the same or at least that we have something to hold on to it's one of the most powerful things a human being can do in the society our ideas are a real value our skills can simply be bought which is not the thing that most of us have taught most of our lives. But I hope you spend some time, spend some time outside of this matrix, and I hope you find some friends there too. From personal experience, it can be a lonely place, but every time, every time, it's quite satisfying. It, it allows me to take life back into my own hands, you know, in a lot of ways. I'm not so focused on what other people are thinking about me. I'm more focused on whether or not I'm here in this moment, looking at these beautiful clouds on a Saturday afternoon. And the idea of coming out here, I'll just let you know, I came back home to Ohio to stay and uh, I've been living alone for a lot of years you know I've spent a significant chunk of time with my own thoughts trying to do my own thing and being back home I realized <laughs> how many distractions there are you know the TV's always on there's food someone wants to go do this you gotta plan this you gotta do that and sure some of you are like oh my god stop bitching about 
family life, you know, get over it. I will, I will, it's going to take some time, but I realize how, how little time the average person in a family actually has to themselves outside of the context of their confined space, their room. And obviously family always has expectations of you, right? Certain things that they want you to do, certain things that, you know, you want to do to make them comfortable in, in the house. And so fulfilling those expectations without throttling your soul. Now that, that's a balance I'm gonna have to learn. But this is a part of it. This is a part of it. And it's gonna go a long way. It's gonna give me some arrested time to think about what I'm doing next. Hopefully you found this interesting. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Helps a lot. Throw me a comment. Get back to you as soon as I can. And if you have some time, check out this video where I talk about some of the uh, other things I've observed in this matrix-like system and how potentially we can avoid getting into the thought loop of the majority of society to end up living a more actualized life. I hope you actualize your potential, my friend. Have an awesome day. The world needs you.